Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. Today I wanted to, well, first of all, I'm in a new place here. I'm gonna do a uh, quick little, kind of show you this little area here on my clip. I'm gonna clean my kitchen today. I'm gonna take you guys along. And I thought I'd just put on some happy music. kitchen here and down here is our family room area there's Roscoe and that's my home office where I usually uh, film if I'm not in the kitchen and that's a bathroom that's a shelf I'm getting rid of because I'm decluttering or I'm gonna move it I'm not sure yet that goes down to my uh, gym this is the basement it's dark down there but that's the gym area and John's ham shack so let me come back up here, and then as we come down the stairs, here's my nook. So you can see it's just a corner. I had the Christmas tree there this year, which I usually don't put it there, but it was just empty space. And um, we've had we used to have a bigger desk out here, but I moved it upstairs. And um, this is my little nook, and you can see it's right off the kitchen there, just uh, those few steps down, and then right here, and. I have really enjoyed this space. So this desk was a desk that my mom gave me uh, years ago. Well, she bought it specifically for me, for me. We used to go antiquing and she found that for me. This was from my husband's aunt. It went with a sewing machine and uh, I don't know, I might paint it one day, but um, his aunts were nuns and this just had a, I'm, I'm just attached to it. I don't know why, uh, but this too was from his aunt so those are there and then this chair is from my mom as well she got that for me and the lamp was from my mom and this is from my beautiful aunt and most everything here is you oh and this was uh from my my um husband my my father-in-law and he used to work uh, on telephones and things like that. So you may recognize that. I don't really understand what it is. I just know it has something to do with telephones. 
And oh, there's Roscoe. This is the chair he loves to sit in. So, um, so this is my little, I'm calling it my little nest. And I sit here and edit videos, usually on this side. And then uh, sometimes I sit here and I just pull this over and use this as a little desk. And I sit there and edit videos. And then here is my Cultivate What Matters planner with all my markers so I can get to them very easily. And in here is just sort of a, me uh, a mess here. But this is my control journal and um, I'm working on it. And this, these are just projects I'm working on. So there's my clipboard, Roscoe. Um, there's some uh, page protectors uh, that I have to use uh, when I start getting this put together a little bit more. I'll show you more about that. Roscoe is trying to lick my face and you can hear him. So uh, yeah, that's my little nest there. And I thought I would just give you a little glimpse. I'm going to back up here. And um, it's just a nice little area in my home that I can sit in and, uh, you know, and not be tucked away. I'm literally in the middle of the house because the kitchen's on that side and then up here and then to the left is my sitting area and then the front door is that way so this is it <laughs> all right guys well I feel like I got a lot done and um I um I set up this little corner here because I really um I kept going in my office to record and I, um, I, I don't like being stuffed in the other room. <laughs> so, um, the, I spent so many years just chained to a computer working. Like that's what I did in almost every business that I have done. I've been on a computer doing a lot of like data entry kind of stuff and editing and things like that, that I don't like to be stuck in that room. So that's why I moved this little corner here. Plus our home office, John, when he's using it, then I still have my place. So it's kind of like my little my little corner niche here, uh, my little nest. But uh, for now, this is where I'm going to sort of use as my home base when I'm filming. But you guys, I wanted you to know where it was. And I got it straightened out. And eventually, I might move it back into one of our, um, like my little home studio. But right now, I just it feels good to just be here and we had this corner and it just was just I didn't know what to do with this corner and it's right off the kitchen and it's so convenient and um, I don't feel like I'm stuffed in a, in a room I'm right in the middle of I'm at, in the heart of the house because I'm right off the kitchen so I made uh, a smoothie and I put some blueberries in it uh, a green I put some of my green super uh, uh, green my superfood green supplement the powder I put in my smoothie and then I added blueberries and it was fresh blueberries. So they were horrible. It was just, there was, they weren't, it was not good. And the way it mixed was so, I put ice and water and it just was more of a just icy kind of blobby thing. So then I added a, a half of a banana and it smoothed it out and it's so much better and it actually tastes really good now. So uh, I've noticed that if I add a half of a banana to almost any of my smoothies, it takes that chalky kind of feeling away that um not chalky but well sort of and with that the icy um I don't know how to explain it you know like an icy when you're doing an icy when we were kids although I like ices so I wasn't I mean I used to have ices all the time even as an adult uh with my kids I used to love ices so um that kind of feel to it that icy feel at the end where you can't you have to use your straw and get the end part that's what this was like until I add half of the banana and then it works really well. So I'm still loving my, uh, my magic bullet, still doing my green smoothies and just experimenting with different things. So hmm. that's really good. In this time, so, I'm, uh, I'm actually taking, uh, I'm, while well, I'm working in my planner and working on my control, um, my control journal, I'll give you guys a quick little peek here. This is what, what it is. I just took a piece of paper and slid it in here and made that cover and then put some stickers on it. And I've got my dividers in here. And uh, you can see I've got home projects written on here, but I, I haven't labeled it yet. But I'm starting to put things in here and I'm starting to work on just some of my sheets. I'm just using blank pages 
starting to write out my sheets so I can put these in my notebook. Here's my morning uh, routine. I'm just writing it out. And I'm just simplifying it, making it work for me. So I'm going to do another video and show you more of this. I'm still working in my Cultivate What Matters planner, which is right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And um, with that, it's really, um, it's really, uh, I, I'm, the more I use it, the more I like it. Not for everyday planning, but for just long-term feeling like I'm um, moving in a direction that's satisfying and fulfilling. I really like it for that. That's really helping. I'm just working on that. I'm actually taking to some online courses right now in different subjects, but one of them is gardening. And I'm looking forward to doing some gardening this spring. I'm not real good at it. That's why I'm taking a beginner's course to try to learn a little bit so that I will do better in the coming uh, in this coming season. So hopefully John can help me a little more too because that's sort of his thing. But since he took on a lot more responsibility at work, he doesn't really have time to do that. So I took over the garden last spring and. We got by, that's all I can say, we got by. But I'm planning to do better this season. So we got lots of stuff kind of planned for summer, so I'm really, I'm really excited. Well, take good care. If you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. Come back and see me, okay? And I will see you on the next video. Bye.